Hey everyone, I'm Brian with AromaCup.com and thanks for always for joining me here in my virtual coffee shop brought to you by AromaCup.com. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you a side-by-side -side comparison of verses, if you will, of uh, a new entry to the world of single serve. That's the Bun My Cafe MCU Single Serve Brewer. It's a multi-use single serve brewer and I'll show you what I mean by that when we go into talking about it. And then I have an old standby right here and one of my favorites, it's the Keurig B70, sort of the uh, granddaddy of the regular K-Cup Keurig brewers. I'm gonna show you the differences and the similarities between these two. We'll brew a little bit of coffee. We'll talk about sort of the pluses and minuses between each one so you can make an informed decision when you go out to add one of these coffee machines to your at-home coffee shop. So let's dive right in and talk about the differences between these two machines. On my left hand side, I have the Bun MCU multi use single serve brewer. It's the My Cafe. There is a version of this that came before this one, and you don't want to confuse that version with this because this one is capable of doing a lot more than its predecessor. <clears throat> and then over here, of course, I have the Keurig B70. We've talked about this machine a lot in past videos, showing you recipes, things like that. It's a great old standby here in my virtual coffee shop. Let's talk about some of the similarities between each of these machines. Now, both of them offer fully automatic brewing options for being able to brew coffees and teas and various beverages such as that. Uh, they both can make use of K-Cups. Now, Keurig, of course, introduced us to the K-Cup. And using a K-Cup is really easy in a Keurig machine because you have your brew basket right here. This is where your K-Cup goes. And then you go ahead and you start brewing your drink from there. Now, in the case of the MCU, it can use uh, K-Cups, and it uses K-Cups by making use of this K-Cup brewing tray that comes with the machine. This tray clicks into the MCU after you've dropped a K-Cup into it, and then brews the coffee out of the K-Cup. So you can use any K-Cup with uh, the MCU. So that's a similarity between both of these. They're both automatic uh, brewing machines. They both can do K-Cups. Now, here's a major difference between the MCU and the B70. The MCU also offers these other various brewing trays. And each of these brewing trays has a different purpose with the MCU, such as here in my right hand, I have the uh, ground coffee brewing tray. And this is where we actually can add our own ground coffee into this filter system and brew ground coffee using the MCU. Now we can also do that on the B70 by making use of an option such as this awesome stainless steel echo brew that I have right here. So that is a way that you can brew your own coffee in your Keurig machine, your own ground coffee. Now, in addition, the MCU also has this pod tray. And this pod tray is going to allow you to make use of filter pods, whether they be coffee, tea, or anything else. You can use them in this pod tray. Uh, I've found that an eight ounce pod is what fits best in here. So Senseo pods fit very well and maybe some other ones that you might find on the market. Now you can also brew pods with the Keurig B70. It's a little more complex and probably not something you're going to be putting into practice as often, but you could put a pod into the brew basket and brew into that pod. Your results of the beverage that you get out of the Keurig at that point may vary. So that's where the MCU definitely offers some very cool options for being able to brew different types of beverages. Uh, and do them all using the different brew trays. Now, both of these machines can also be multi-use in their own way in the sense that they can just make hot water that you might need for being able to make oatmeal or noodle uh, meals and various things like that. The way that the MCU does that is again using another tray. There's four of these trays that come with the machine. This is the last one right here. This is the hot water tray. And this allows you, when clicked on to the MCU, it simply allows you to make hot water using the MCU. Now, you can do that on the B70 as well, and all you need to do is open up the brew basket, close it back up without putting a K-cup in, and then you can uh, run some hot water out of the machine. So both of these are pretty multi-use when you come right down to it. Now, an option that neither of these offer is the ability to make espresso, and that's something to keep in mind. You could, have, you, of course, use an espresso ground coffee in one of the brew your own options uh, for either of these machines, but it's not necessarily going to be a true espresso as what we're used to for, from a machine that actually has a pump that's meant for brewing espresso. So that's something to keep in mind. And uh, now again, as I say, brewing is automatic on both of these. On the MCU, the operation's very simple. You have this one brew button right here, 
And you simply press that after clicking on whichever uh, tray you happen to be using. You press that button and you're going to start brewing and I'll show that to you in a moment. You also notice that the MCU has this pulse button. The pulse button is going to cause the machine to brew the coffee a little bit more slowly and that way you can get a stronger brew out of the machine. Now that is where uh, there is a major difference between the MCU and the B70 because over here on the B70 if we want a stronger brew of coffee we either need to use an extra bold K-cup uh, because an extra bold is going to have more coffee in it and therefore give us a more bold uh, coffee brew out of the machine or we need to restrict the amount of water that we brew into our K-cup and to do that we make use of a smaller brew size on the B70. Now that's something I should mention between these two is that the B70 definitely wins when it comes to brew sizing because it's a whole lot easier. The B70 allows me to, using this LCD menu that it has right here, choose the brew cup size that I would like to make use of by simply pressing one of the left or right buttons when the machine is ready to brew. I select a cup size on the screen right here and then I can start brewing. Now over here on the MCU things are a little bit different and that's because it's definitely more manual when it comes to choosing your cup size. In order to do that you need to actually open up this water tray that's on top of the MCU. You're going to see markers that show you how many ounces of water you can add to the machine. When you're ready to brew you want to take a uh, pitcher of water and Bun says specifically to not use distilled water. They say to use filtered, but they say that the minerals in the water help the flavor of the coffee. I've never really seen that announced in a manual for a single serve coffee machine, so that's sort of a first. So in order to brew, you simply pour water into the top of the machine and choose the brew size that you would like to make use of. So for right now, I'm gonna use about 10 ounces. Now when you start to brew, the machine is going to take that water down and into the internal water tank in the machine and it's going to heat that water up. So it does have an internal water tank. The thing is you cannot see that tank. You're going to notice on the back of this machine I can't see the tank. I can feel it. It's warm right here but I can't see it and I can't remove it. That's something that I do find to be a little bit of a drawback here because I have no idea how much water is in this machine and the only way I know it's time to add water is if it starts blinking at me. In comparison to the B70, well, you can see really easily, here's my water tank. It's super easy to access. It's super easy to fill up. It's really easy to know just what's going on with your B70. So that's something where I have to say that the B70 really wins. When it comes to ease, the B70 is a lot, a lot easier to use. That water tank's easy to fill up. It's easy to brew with. I really like this machine. I also like the MCU, but I have to say that it's a little strange to use it, figuring out how much water is in it and when it's ready to brew, things like that. So speaking of that, let's go ahead and brew some coffee with both of these machines so that I can just show you how they work. I'm going to make use of the K-cup tray for the MCU. This is pretty easy to use. You open up this tray right here, take your K-cup, pop it in, and then close this down on top of it. Now something that I've noticed is that every time I puncture one of my K-cups, I have coffee grounds that sort of spray out a little bit. A little bit of a drawback, so you kind of want to get rid of those so that you don't get coffee grounds into your, your coffee. Now I'm going to click this onto the MCU. And now again, I poured some water into the machine there in order to get it ready for brewing. Now I'm going to place a tumbler right here, and I'm just going to press the brew button. Now one thing I will give to the MCU is it definitely moves very quickly. It just brews that K-cup very fast. There's a lot of pressure in here, and I found that it makes that cup of coffee very quickly, which is great. But again, this really all depends on how quickly you want your cup of coffee because as I say, you do need to pour in as much water as you want to make use of and various things like that in order to be able to actually brew with this machine. So that's something that uh, I don't think it's necessarily the biggest drawback with this machine, but I have found that it takes a little bit more attention for me to brew a cup of coffee using it. That right there is a cup of coffee out of the Bun MCU. It is a good cup of coffee. Of course, that all depends on the, on the K-cup that you happen to be making use of. I am using extra bold K-cups from Green Mountain here. Now, let me show you how easy it is to make a cup over here on the B70. We talked about this many times. I'll show it to you guys one more time. Drop your K-cup in. Close up your brew basket. Now, you're going to choose your cup size. I'm going to add my tumbler. There's also a little bit more clearance, I have to say, on the B70. It's a lot easier to just put a large tumbler under there and get going. So now choose your brew size and go ahead and just start brewing with the B70. Now the B70 usually will take just a little bit more time in order to add some pressure and get the water going and start brewing your K-cup. But again, I have to say the B70 usually moves pretty fast and does make a great cup of coffee.
Now, of course, while the machine's doing its job, I'll remind you guys uh, that you should check us out at aromacup.com. Join our forums, check out our recipes, our reviews, find more information about the world of single-serve coffee and just coffee in general. We'll help you to demystify the world of coffee, because that's what we do best here at aromacup.com. I'm getting a lot of great questions on our videos lately, and I always invite you guys to leave us some questions in the comments on our videos here on YouTube. So you can see that brew time is pretty much about the same between both of these machines. Uh, the B70 may take a little bit longer, but that really depends on the uh, cup size that you happen to be making use of. With the MCU, again, you can adjust that cup size, but you need to actually add the amount of water that you want to make use of. So I personally find that when it comes to ease, the B70 is still pretty much the winner when it comes to put in a pod, brew it, and get a cup of coffee really, really quickly. The MCU does that very well uh, as well, but uh, it's definitely a little more involved. You have to make use of these different tray types and various things like that. So that's a quick overview of just about all the features between these two machines. Obviously, you can see that there's some pluses and minuses between both. It really depends what it is that you want to get out of each of these machines in the long run. Let's talk pricing on both of these machines. Now, the uh, Curic B70 retails at the making of this video for about $199. You can find different pricing on that uh, depending on where you shop. And of course, visit us on aromacup.com to find out how you can save money on machines like this. On the Bun MCU My Cafe, uh, you're looking at about $179 being the suggested retail price. So about comparable between the two. Uh, so the bottom line between these two machines, it really depends on what it is that you want out of a single serve brewer. Uh, the bun machine I do think is very cool, but I think it takes a little bit more setup than the average person might want in a single serve machine. I found that getting this machine primed takes a long time, uh, which can be a little hard if you just want some coffee. And if you come to it and it's not ready to brew, you have to get it ready to brew. On the B70, it's ready to brew. If it's turned on, if you use the auto on function or something like that, which allows the machine to automatically turn itself on and get ready to brew, you're gonna be able to come to this machine, drop in a pod, start brewing, step away, come back, and you have coffee immediately. So this machine is definitely much more brew some coffee, walk away, and you know, come back, grab that cup, get out the door. So I think the bottom line here, of course, is always, this is going to depend on what you want, but I think the bottom line is that the B70 still offers, I think, just as much flexibility as the MCU and definitely wins in the world of uh, speed and ease. However, the MCU, definitely a cool machine, might be cool in an office, or if you like to take your time when you're making your coffee, but still have it fairly quick, check out the Bon MCU My Cafe. So there you go, guys. Quick overview between both of these machines. I hope that you found it useful. As always, please stay in touch with us. Get in touch with us at aromacup.com. Make sure to subscribe to our channel, like this video, share it with other coffee lovers, and of course, comment on this video if you have questions. We're always happy to answer your questions here at aromacup.com. I'm Brian. Thanks for joining me here in my virtual coffee shop, brought to you by aromacup.com. And as always, guys, enjoy your cup, and I'll see you next time. Take care.